Well, hello everybody, my name is Graham. This is Gracie. She is my, I believe, eight years old Arabian. Uh, if you haven't seen her story here, I will try to link it below in the description if you're curious. But Gracie is, um, well, she's a bit of an interesting character. Uh, over the past few years, I have been working on starting her, uh, but here and there, uh, certain situations and circumstances and conditions have slowed that down or stopped it entirely while I wait for something to happen. The, uh, the latest, I guess, and sort of ongoing issue that she's had, if you've been following for a while, is to do with her feet. Now, I was able to resolve the front feet reasonably quickly, if you call a year or two reasonably quickly, um, but the back feet still had something that was just, just sort of there that was bothering me. And uh, not too long ago, I had my veterinarian uh, sit down with me and we discussed what could we do to get this resolved for sure. We think we've got it. Um, so it's about 95% of the way there. And I think it's high time that I restart her. So for everybody who has been following, I'm sure there is some, uh, you know, minor excitement on that. Uh, she's going to be restarted. Now I've already ridden her 10 to 15 times or so. Uh, we've actually even done some horseback archery. I will link that video below as well. And she did very, very well. Um, if you're not familiar with her at all though, uh, Gracie has come from, got her when she was about, I think four. And uh, she kind of came from a situation that uh, was not desirable. She hadn't really had any work and she was quite, quite worried uh, overall and her feet hadn't been touched, all kinds of stuff. And she's a bit of a rescue, I guess you could say. Uh, but since then she's done fantastic and she's been growing all along the way here, better socializing, health and uh, education. Now, um, she's got a lot of energy and I'm very, very aware of that. I try to be very responsible when I uh, feel like I'm sort of harnessing that energy with her. And um, we're gonna work on seeing about resaddling her again. Uh, and see about how groundwork goes and all that kind of business while we're here. Um, I thought I would also discuss as we go, because this may be an opportune time, as I get a very, very common question of how do you know how long to do a session for? So I'll try to answer that as we go along. And um, I've done nothing with her. Uh, she has had her socializing playtime sort of today. So, I mean, the only thing that's been done is she's come in and out and she's been haltered, brought from her paddock to right now where we are together here. So this is another sort of off the cuff training session. I thought I would do lots of these. They seem to be pretty well received, unplanned, unprepared. I haven't done anything. As you can see, the arena is has been just harrowed. So clearly I haven't been in here running her around. I don't have another spot to do that with. So you'll have to um, trust me on that. Now, the first thing that I want to do, I know her groundwork is pretty good, but, um, and oh, there's some mosquitoes around here. Um, and I'll check that out a little bit more as we go, but I wanna see if we can put a saddle on without her getting too worried. And if you're not new here, you will know that I am quite cautious about how horses feel when I do things. I'm looking to see if their heads get really high, if they get quite worried, holy smokes. Um, and, uh, and how they, uh, in general, react to things being put on them. So I've got my saddle here, and uh, this is just a very basic uh, saddle that I use quite often. It's um, by a company named Barefoot, and it is a, uh, a treeless saddle. And it fits quite well on Gracie, and I think it looks quite nice on her as well. Suits her in colors and everything. So, um, so far, I don't see any concerns. Uh, she's, she's swishing her tail due to a couple of bugs here and there. Um, it's uh, mid, mid April right now. So we're getting a little bit warmer and the bugs are starting to come out here and there. Uh, if, you're, if you're new, we're in British Columbia, Canada. And that means that um, we're kind of just coming out of the cold season. We're just sort of making it into um, spring and we have some pretty warm days. And other days are <laughs> sometimes kind of chilly. You get a lot more rain. Um, and, uh, and then other days are just fantastic like today. So, so far, um, she hasn't really reacted and she's looking really good. I'm not surprised. Saddling has always gone reasonably well with her. There's only one time in the whole time that I've 
uh, been working with her on it that she got really worried and I have that on video and I'll try to find that video as well if you want to see that where I talk about resaddling her. So here we are resaddling her again um, and uh, so far so good. So I'm really quite happy with this. I'm happy that some information stuck and I talk about when I talk about horse training I talk about gaps. I talk about things that stick or have stuck. Um, I talk about you know if, if just because you can do something doesn't mean you were able to do the thing before without any concern. So while she's looking that way, I'm actually going to just drop the girth down there and see how she feels. She looks a tiny bit worried. So when I find a horse is a tiny bit worried, I might ask for their head to just come down and I'll come up and I'll just, I'll give a little rub or a scratch or something like, like, like that. Okay, so usually this is the part where horses get a little bit worried. She's checked in with me there, so I'll check in with her back and I'll reach under and I'll grab this girth. And I tend to, <laughs> I was, I mean, I'm always kind of aware of it, but I mean, it was made a little bit more aware of it not too long ago when I was working with a horse. And, um, and it was noted of, of how much I chitty chat to the horses. And of course, I'm not really talking to her right now because I'm talking to you guys, but it would be kind of the same thing. And there's nothing wrong with being quite chitty chatty. It was sort of having a, I know, we've just put that on and you didn't do anything wrong. Wrong? You didn't get really worried. Whatever we want to, whatever we want to look at that. And so now with that girth kind of on and me just sort of chatting away in a very sort of, you know, not monotone, but there's a bit of melody to my, my voice. I'm a little up, a little down. Um, and I'm always trying to give the impression of calm. And uh, usually when I'm, when I'm doing it, if it's just me and a horse, <laughs> no camera, uh, I'll just be like, hey, how's it going? You know, today's been a pretty good day. You're doing really well with this. I'm really glad that you can put this girth on. Yeah, you are absolutely fantastic. Thanks for looking over here. And I'll just chat, 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 chat away with the horse. And I'll come around and there's nothing wrong with flipping side to side and side to side because you're going to find out whether or not a horse can handle you being on a particular side of them uh, and they'll block. And I've done a little video about that with Maya here and uh, that went that went pretty good. Hi, look at me. I'm just kind of shifting your uh, saddle here make sure you don't get too worried. Now she hasn't moved at all. And I talk about horse training uh, or one of the things I talk about in horse training is that horses can stand for things when they're standing. And so because we haven't moved at all, uh, we don't know if moving will cause any concern because, you know, the, the stirrups here will shake back and forth and she might get a little worried, right? We got this one over here. She might get worried at that. Uh, she looks like she's kind of like, wow, why is, that, why is that bumping against my sides? And um, when we move around, she's going to feel that and she might feel like she needs to do something. But we want to move because honestly, there are no tracks right here. We literally have a horse that has stood in one spot. Let's see if I can, I can show you. You can see here that it hasn't moved an inch since she's got here. So we don't want that. We want some movement, although she doesn't look worried. Um, I know there's a lot of people that love to see Arabians with their head high and stuff like that. I like my Arabian to look like a quarter horse. Thank you. Um, it tends to give me the impression, and I believe this to be true, uh, that she is quite calm, she's relaxed, she has her head low, uh, she's paying attention. Um, and I wasn't really expecting any problems here, but I really want to check this out because I don't want to leave any gaps as we go along the way. Today's not going to be a riding day, today's going to be a little bit of moving around. So I've cleared off the saddle stand and I'm going to ask her to move. And she says, no problemo. So that's good. So right now I'm just leading and drawing. So when I draw, that means I'm asking a horse to come with me and leading is not something we do when we're in the saddle. It's only something we do on the ground. Now we can draw a horse in a direction to turn. Hello, Gracie, you're a very big girl. Thank you very much for being amazing. We can draw a horse into a turn through direction, um, but we can't draw a horse into going forward you know, when we're riding. So drawing and leading is a groundwork item. Now she's doing just fine. So that's no problem. But when horses get to, uh, you know, where you have to ride, essentially we have to do a driving activity, which means we have to put pressure or push or do something that just says, you know, you need to um, 
move without me moving. And that then in turn becomes a little bit more advanced groundwork where we, we, do, we do pressure for drive. Now I've tried very hard with Gracie to be to able, be able to give her an invite. You see her head has come up there and I might just lift my rope there, okay? So she would know that we're gonna kind of go a little bit together. I am not drawing her, I'm driving her. And I'm in the position, <laughs> I'm so grumpy. Uh, I'm in the position of riding, so I'm kind of near her saddle. And I'll work real hard to see if I can't match up my feet a little bit. And we haven't done this in quite some time. So we're kind of making some tight turns, not really because I'm asking for them, but because she's doing them. <laughs> and so I'll kind of accept that. Um, she seems like she's a little perturbed. I'd like that to stop. So I might come in and just say, hey, it's okay. You don't have to be worried. And I'll ask her just to stay for a second. So I'll just, I might lift my rope a smidge. Um, but as in some other videos that I've shown, and I've, I've seen a few comments where, you know, going, going like this, like swinging your rope around like crazy is a, a terrible method to use and all that kind of stuff. And while I agree that a horse that knows what to do should never require that, you should be able to just say, can you please go ahead? And that should be plenty, just that direction. And when you get even better, <laughs> now I'm drawing, when you get even better, um, it is going to be simply a pickup of energy and off we'll go, okay? So this is what a more advanced groundwork horse looks like. They will just be quiet, okay? And we will be quiet. We won't be doing this. We won't be swinging our rope around like crazy, okay? Now, I also heard somebody or read somebody say that it's very confusing that you're swinging the rope around and you're freaking her out and stuff like that. This isn't for her. And this is something that I would want her to understand that I'm not swinging the rope for her. She should actually just stand still, but she hasn't got that figured out yet. And that's okay because I can do this and then I can draw and then I might stop. Now it's very normal for a horse to be worried because you are getting this, or I am getting this rope up above her head. And that's scary. Horses have a hard time seeing that. I could say, hey, calm down, you're okay. Why don't you uh, follow me around while I swing this rope? And the rope is not, there is no intention in my mind that this swinging rope should tell her to do anything. I just happen to be swinging the rope. So when, if anybody says to you, you know, swinging a rope is kind of a, it's, it's not cool or you're confusing the horse, I would actually call it a more advanced feature set of your tools where you can say, you know, I actually just want to be able to swing my rope and my horse not get worried. So she's following, she's leading, she's drawing, she's coming with me. I'm not holding onto this tight. I don't, I'm not yanking on her. I'm not fighting with her. She's coming along and I could say, you know, you were really brave for that. I know it really worries you and it's okay. All right. Sorry about the skeeters here and there. We're starting to get a couple out. I see a couple, I'll get them when I see them. And um, it's okay. But you know, when I am working on having her move, we definitely don't want to have to keep on doing something like that. But it may be that we have to get a little concern. Now this would be too much for Gracie. I, I won't do too much like this. I wouldn't swing it around a lot because she doesn't need it. She's very good at saying, yes, I will go with you. And we will go together like this. And I shouldn't have to move my rope at all. It should be 100% about my intention. And if I sort of put my concentration into it a little bit, we should be able to stop doing those tiny little circles and we should be able to walk straight for a little. And we would. And then I might draw. I might say, we kind of went a little. It's okay. Calm down. You're a good girl. Okay. So <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I hope I've covered a few things. And on the last thing that I'll cover, how do I know when to stop a session or be done enough with a session? How do you know when the horse has had enough? And I would say, based on the way that I work with horses, 90%, around 90%, I'm done. I'm all finished. I've either run out of time, I've got other things to do, I'm having a good time and everything's going fine. 
Um, or I just run out of energy. I just don't, I don't have it in me to do anymore. I've, I've done a lot during the day or something like that. And I feel I don't want to do anymore because I don't think I've got enough. Or the exercises that I'm doing, I'm working with a horse that just pulls so much out of me due to it being so afraid. And I have to constantly working on, work on keeping it calm and keeping myself calm. Well, how's that saying go again? You know, when you're hanging around with a horse, it's like hanging around with a toddler and, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, when, when times get tough, a temper tantrum can happen, but it can never be you. And, um, that applies, you know, you've got to, you got to look at the horse and say, look, <laughs> chill out, even though they might be, you know, anywhere from 800 pounds to 2000 pounds, you might have to stay really calm. And that takes a lot of effort. So the majority of the time, I run out of energy and I want everybody to kind of recognize for yourselves when you've had enough, when you just, you just say to yourself, you know, I don't think I have enough patience or energy. I'd better stop this before I make a mistake. You get your timing off. You'll be tired. Your timing will be off. We talk about matching steps as best as we can and going together with the right energy, that kind of stuff. When it falls off, well, your training starts to fall off too a little bit and you'll have more mistakes. And believe me, I've done it. Um, the other 10% of the time that I'll have a horse that I feel is ramped up. It's got a lot going on and we'll do some stuff and I'll sort of be able to tell, I'll be able to feel that that horse is just like, ah, you know, if I could just go have a roll, if I could just go get some water, you know, I'm really hungry. Can we just go back? Uh, I really want to, you know, do something else. They'll give you that in that impression. This is not that impression. This is a horse that says, I'll hang out with you. I'll keep my head low and be real quiet. So you don't really, you know, feel like you have to do much. Right. And that's really good. And I'll be very happy with it. I could work hours with Gracie in this case, if I had the energy for it, if I didn't like, hmm, I could use dinner <laughs> or something like that, you know? Um, so the answer to that really is when you're working, work small, I'd say do less than you think you need to and end on something that's just, oh, it's a skeeter. End on something that's so solid and so positive that the next time you come back to this, you know, you're not going to have a lot of trouble. I know, I see that one too. Let's get it. So there's some skeeters coming out. So this will be another case where I might be like, you know what, there's too many mosquitoes out. I could spray you, but honestly, I think we've come to a great place. Let's quit. So hopefully that answers that. And honestly, I'm really happy. I actually think, you know, maybe we could, maybe we could go a little quicker. Come on, see how she doesn't want to go. There we go. Come on, Gracie. Let's draw at a trot. Oh, I know, listen to that saddle shake. You got a little saddle shake. So we check in with her and we say, okay, let's go again. How well will she go with me? We'll come around this bridge a little bit. Make a turn, okay? We'll go calmly. We don't have to go in a big rush. Slow down. Does she slow down? She does. Does she walk? Does she stop? She does. She matches up with me quite well. I would say, fantastic. I'm very happy with that. How about that saddle? Can we take it off without any trouble? Yes. Yes, we can. Now I got really quiet there <laughs> and didn't need to, but I, I actually thought, oh, what if this doesn't go well? The whole thing's gone really well. I'd have to work on saddling again, but we didn't. We did really well and I'm very proud of her. So this is day one of restarting Gracie. I think it's going to go really well. I'm quite happy. <laughs> she said much different horse riding than Lena. Sitting on Gracie is, uh, she's gotten a little bigger though. I'm hoping a year going by will give me a little bit more seat to sit on. Uh, a little bit wider, a little bit bigger ribs. She's pretty much full grown, so I'm quite happy. All right, we're gonna let her go. Hopefully that's been interesting. Hopefully there are a few of you out there that are excited to uh, see Gracie in action, more riding. More groundwork. Hello. Very good job. I'm very proud of you. Good work. Right? And it's really nice that she wants to stick around. This all is just part of the same thing. You need ear scratching or what? What do you think? 
Do you need it? Okay, let's see. Well, you gotta give me your ear. You gotta give me your ear. You do. Let me try again. Okay, come here. Let's just let's just hassle her a little. <laughs> let's get her there. Just get her in the mode. Stop escaping. You're okay. Gracie used to be very head shy, very worried. She's a lot better now, obviously. Shake. Oh, it's a big shake. But yeah, skeeters are coming out, so I'm gonna quit for now. But hopefully that's been interesting. If you have any questions, let, let me know anytime. She's gone. She left me so fast. Why? There she All the way to the other end of the arena in seconds. And that's okay. I checked out on her. She gets to check out on me. I'm okay with that. It's a beautiful horse. So, wrecking my arena though, look at this. All cleaned up and harrowed. <laughs> Let's... Okay, so I'm actually gonna do one more thing because she did leave. I'm gonna ask to see if she would think about coming to hang out with me briefly. And she can leave again. We're gonna go up and we're gonna say hi. Okay, and this is all part of the same session. We haven't left. We did check out briefly, and so did she. She decided to run off. But you can see she didn't run off during our time. Hello, Gracie. Nice run, you look great. Okay, and then we'll leave her at that. She may follow, she may not, probably won't. Fresh tracks on the beautiful Harrowed Arena. Here she comes, I'm gonna stop. She stopped. I'll go a little bit again. Liberty work, fascinating stuff. Really, really interesting. Well worth doing, do as much as you can. See what your horse thinks of you. If you're worth hanging around with. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. I will see you, oh, here she comes. I'll see you guys in the next one, I think. Keep working on this. Hello, Gracie, thanks for coming back. And following. It says, do the other ear. It's bugging me. Okay, that's it for now. Till next time.